What's up guys, Sam here, and today I'm going to be doing a little gameplay slash review of Super Mario Brothers. I mean, <laughs> Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Um, and this game is praised upon actually having a tr not only a tremendous storyline, that it also has got superb music. I, I haven't found games that have this kind of music in a long time. Uh, just to start off, one thing I can say about this game is really bright. You know, I'm not a big fan of that, but this menu is kind of interactive, which is kind of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, this game is designed kind of like a few uh, ther uh, therapy session, and as in this guy's your therapist kind of style. Um, so click this guy twice. Uh, the t uh, dialogue in this game, which there is none, is all but just reading. So if you're not a big fan of that, you know you're not going to enjoy this game whatsoever because it's all about that. But if you can actually handle it and put some brain power into reading, this is, is a great storyline. And the actual dialogue is different and in that I say is they have a very lay, laid back approach in, to uh, pronunciation and stuff like that so as you can see everything is pixelated but I'll say it's actually pixelated to a high resolution um, as in I say that you'll get higher quality shaders and stuff like that like the blending of certain colors it's cr quite uh, wonderful um, one thing as you can see up here in this corner is a little tweeter thing I do not have this set up uh, my personal opinion you don't need it whatsoever they say that it, you should have it because it brings in the story to whatever I don't know I don't really care because you just don't need it um, as you can see, this game was designed for a uh, OS game in mind, as in that you have just an easy, simple point-click thing, so that you know on your touch screen you can do whatever. On that, um, the world is semi-interactive, and I say that as in you could click this bunny, you could click these bushes, you could play with the water, which in itself is kind of interactive <laughs> they did a good job with the water I do have to say I love how it reflects the whole world um, What's the audio in this game so pristine I, I love it so much I don't know what it is about this game but the audio is what really keeps bringing you back oh it's one of the higher things that keep bringing you back and I say that because a lot of this world you will be coming back and visiting and passing by stuff repeatedly and having a uh, effective shader that basically makes the world change just the color and, and not just the color has changed but also the audio is what makes it acceptable in my personal opinion so we'll get into an example of the audio here in a second Eight. or song Eight. Um, there you go. I don't know if I'll be able to get to a, a decent combat segment. Um, ah, oh, actually I will. Come on up here, actually I should. Okay, so this is like a wolf creature that you come back and visit a couple times. And you're about to see the combat here in just a second. I'm actually glad this is here. I forgot about this. So let's go and fight this guy. And you do that by right clicking. And so here's your combo thing. You got your your health on the left side, his health on the right side. Shield, block, and sword is to swing your sword me. <laughs> quite simple straightforward I love it 
simple and nice. So then, yeah, this is, as you can see, you've got your lighting and everything is really nice. They did a good job. Steady game. It lasted me at least four hours. Uh, my first time going through. Uh, you know, just because you're listening to audio, you're reading the dialogue. Only a couple times I actually found my skip, found myself skipping through uh, the video, uh, the dialogue. Um, other than that, there isn't a whole lot to explore, but just to be able to jump in and you know get immersed with the environment and everything. It's just, I love it. You won't find another game like this. Now they have they have the title uh, called uh, Brothers Swords and Sorcery Episode. I wonder if that's Episode One, and they're going to make it Episode Two because if they do, I'll be quite happy with it. Um, go ahead and come here. Poppy sword out. Watch out. Here's another great audio track right here. I do have to say the audio is what makes this game 1000% better. <laughs> just the art style, this is so unique, it just, ah, oh, it's just lovely, it's great, it's like a good refreshing beverage after a hot day's work of playing you know you and I use that analogy as in playing after playing like uh, what is it gears of war chopping people's heads off several times and all that blood here's an example of another unique environment but after chopping people's heads off cutting people open and blood flying over the place this is a great uh, alternative just to be Fresh. Right, for an eight dollar game, this is this is great. Got, I got my hours out of it easily, tripled the amount of hours I put into it. And just the art style. If these guys can make another game that's similar to this but more RPG, oh boy, I I'd buy that game in a heartbeat. Even if they did a number two of it, uh, these series, I would be overwhelmed with joy. I just love it so much. One thing I enjoyed also about these games is each uh, session, let's call them, of uh, therapy sessions, uh, they say, play 30 minutes, enjoy this, and then stop. And I completely agree. I recommend you to play this th for the 30 minutes. Then once you finish the, that session, we'll call uh, that session, uh, stop and, you know, come back the next day. You know, I recommend you do that. And it just, I don't know what it is about it. It just makes it nicer to be able to come back and you be completely refreshed. As you can see here, I sold this book they call like the Totem or something like that. And this guy right here in the background that was holding the book isn't too happy and he tries to kill you throughout the series. But as it is for now, I think I'm going to call this. Yeah, he comes alive, he starts to chase you, and it's kind of creepy. So, I think I want to call it quits here. Uh, it was. I gave it a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. And. Yeah. Go buy this game, support the creators. Thumbs up on my video. Subscribe. Like. Comment. It helps me out. Especially if you want to see more. I'd like to make more. I'd like to get to the point where I can make a lot more. 
But as for now, talk to you guys later.